everyone, it's Melinda, and today we're going to be looking at my two beautiful Wavelite specimens. Um, I'm so excited for this video. Wavelite is one of my new favorites, and uh, both of these specimens were very recently uh, acquired. Uh, this one in particular was a very, very generous gift. Um, so, oh my goodness, it makes me so happy and excited. <laughs> I'm pumped, super pumped. Um, previous to doing my research, I would have assumed the name Wavelite was kind of um, in reference to its beautiful, uh, I guess, growth formations, these beautiful circular waves of color, I would have assumed. Uh, I'll show you a few on this one, so you can see what I mean by that. See how they radiate out? Oh my goodness. So, so, so cool. Um, but that's actually not the case. Their <laughs> the name is actually uh, derived from a person, like many other uh, minerals. Um, but we'll get into that in just a second. First, I want to, first I'll pick up this piece again and we'll have a closer look. Um, both specimens are from Arkansas in the USA, or Arkansas. Um, <clears throat> I know one specifically is from Mount Ida. The other one uh, didn't have any further details other than that it was from Arkansas. <laughs> um, but I'm assuming they're from the same location and we will talk about that location a little bit uh, later. <laughs> Look at these. Oh my goodness, they're so cool. All right, so wavelite is an aluminum basic phosphate mineral. Distinct crystals are rare, and it normally occurs as translucent green radial or spherical clusters, as we can see here. These two are very typical specimens. Um, <clears throat> so wavelite was first described in 1805 for an occurrence at High Down, Filet, Devon, England, uh, and named by William Babington in 1805 in honor of Dr. William Wavell, who was a Devon-based physician, botanist, historian, and naturalist who brought the mineral to the attention of fellow, uh, fellow mineralogists. So it's not a name that's, you know, based off of a kind of a descriptor word. It is actually in honor of Dr. William Wavell. Pretty darn cool. <laughs> All right, and I'll give you a look at this one all the way around. Um, obviously, they're more concentrated on the top, but you know what? It's just neat to see the whole matrix. There's so many crevices down here. Some big ones. And it's when they're broken that you can see that <clears throat> radial growth. And oddly enough, I would say the broken uh, radial pattern, circular patterns, are maybe even more so a popular attribute of wavelight than the perfectly formed little globs. Um, generally, it's this fanned out look uh, that folks really fall in love with um, and is often shown off in jewelry. It makes really interesting jewelry. Let's see if we can get real close. There we go. Ah, oh, just so cool. Oh, I love it so much. <laughs> Can't get enough. <clears throat> All right, and then this little specimen here, they're more concentrated, and you can see some nice examples of that uh, beautiful broken crystal look. <laughs> Too cool. So, wavelite is a secondary mineral found most often in aluminous low-grade metamorphic rocks, usually found as radiating starbursts or starburst clusters of green to yellow green fibrous crystals on fracture surfaces in the matrix. Uh, these may grade into globular aggregates, more rarely in chalcedony-like or opaline masses or stalactic. 
Um, <clears throat> very rare as good distinct crystals. Uh, so it is most common to see wavelight in glob uh, globular or hemispheric aggregates of botryoidal crusts on matrix, <laughs> which is a lot of words to describe exactly what you're seeing here. This is very, very typical. Uh, this one too. These are very much what um, your average wavelight specimen would look like particularly for what's on the uh, market right now from the Arkansas location. And there's even some underneath. Really cool. Um, so it is found in a variety of locations, uh, but a notable location, as I keep saying, is Mount Ida in Arkansas, uh, an area in the Wachita, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing that, uh, but the Wachita Mountains. Um, <clears throat> and as I said earlier, it is sometimes used as a gemstone, particularly, you know, in re recent years, <laughs> um, because of that really unique texture. Um, yeah, it's become very desirable and it just makes really interesting jewelry, truly. Um, but I'm quite happy to have my my mineral specimens. I'm so excited about them. I've been trying to acquire some for years and um, <clears throat> they were quite difficult to find for a while and if you did, you know, happen to come across one and find one, they were very expensive. They've come down a bit. They're, you know, uh, reasonable. I think I paid 30 for this little one and like I said, this one was a gift. Um, yeah, but not too, too over the top and, you know, if you're if you are really dead set on getting one, you might want to, you know, keep your eye out. <laughs> this gift in particular uh, is from one of my, uh, you know, one of my favorite, one of my go-to uh, mineral sellers uh, called Novira Minerals, uh, also known as Pretty Rocks Cheap on Etsy. Um, I've been a long time client of his and, you know, I had discussed how much I wanted a wave light piece and... I made, uh, you know, one of my yearly big orders and was just absolutely blown away to find that <laughs> to find that I had such a substantial gift in my package. It was mind blowing and oh, it's just it's just wonderful. <laughs> um, yes, so I'm not sure if he has any up on his Etsy shop right now, um, but I, if you contacted him directly, he might be able to set you up with some. Um, I would definitely add one to my collection. I, like I said, I've been waiting for years, so this is a very exciting uh, video for me. Uh, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed that, and thank you so much uh, for sharing this experience with me. <laughs> Have a good day, everyone. Bye!